So we've made a number of pieces, a couple of different designs. Let's go ahead and make a sign that's just letters, like live, laugh, love, or, you know, whatever, I, uh, whatever your heart desires at this point. That being said, good morning and welcome to Capable of Many Things. Let's dive into a QCAD design. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to start with a new file. So we're going to go to File, New, and here we are in a new workspace. Today we're going to make a sign that's just all letters all together. And we're going to do that within QCAD. It's not my favorite place to do that. Truth be told, if I'm working in 2D and I'm working with just letters and I'm starting to make things, uh, I'm going to more often than not utilize Inkscape for this application. Some of the tools make it super easy to just blend, mix, mess, or do what, uh, do what have you. So we're going to go ahead and mess with it here. We're going to choose text, and we're going to go uh, capable of many things. All right. And hit OK. And this is one inch tall. That's not going to be big enough. I need this to be six inch letters. Whew, that is, that is, that'll work. That'll be fine. All right. A couple of ways we're going to do this. Again, as I say every single time, if you just put text in QCAD, it won't cut out. I say this like a broken record, but I always like to say it because it's happened so many times throughout the course of many conversations with many, many, many people. Just because you put text in QCAD doesn't mean that it is going to get cut out unless you explode it first. And even then, sometimes that doesn't happen for other reasons. Okay, we've selected our text. This is going to be capable of many things. Um, we can do a couple of different items here, but we're just going to need to start stacking some letters in order to make this beautiful sign. So, first thing we do with text is we go to modify, hit explode explode and we've exploded it and now we hit modify and explode again aha I think that worked oh fantastic alright and now to move things now we haven't discussed moving things in QCAD before this is gonna be interesting this is gonna be interesting so if we're making a sign that's just letters right we're not making a sign that's gonna pop out of another larger piece of material the sign is going to be the letters and so to do that we can either add some sort of geometry like you know we can get real clever I'm gonna to go to my square tool let's go with uh, what is this uh, boom. Uh, 90 maybe a hundred let's go with a hundred something cool and then make the height like two inches and go like oh yes this is this is my sign <laughs> and sure you can do it this way this is an easy way to make that sign um, not my favorite way to do that and not the point of this video we're gonna make it the harder way we're gonna make all of the all of the letters sort of come together and attach to each other let's go in and do this so QCAD moving uh, moving a shape is not difficult per se, but something that uh, takes a little bit of effort within QCAD here, and it is acting just a bit funny. I'm going to select everything, modify, explode here. What are you doing? Oh, you're already exploded, I just don't know why you're not moving. Alright, we're going to select you, click and drag. Oh, I can actually do that. Fantastic. Um, we're going to select it all. Oops, select all of it find a corner, click and drag, and it's going to allow us to move this here. Boom. And I've now moved my shape just a hair's breadth over. I'm going to do the same thing with the letter P, and we're going to click and drag it over and have it overlap just a little there. Line that up accordingly. Okay, we're going to grab our letter A, and we're going to, I want to select from the bottom here, click and drag this over, and have that select beauty so a couple of things about the click and drag feature within um, within QCAD um, you cannot select the corner and drag it out otherwise it's gonna do that and let's be honest nobody wants that and again I'll do that again click and drag it's gonna deform the shape we want to select on a line there's something to be said here there are far too many vectors on that portion of the curve not a fan of the way that it did that 
neither here nor there we will we will work with that later again another reason why I prefer Inkscape for this application because some of the processing tools are a little bit better I'm gonna click on the line and drag and it'll auto lock me to the closest node which puts me right there on the corner B put that there C A P A B I'm gonna select here go to the bottom left hand corner again and line that up like that L and boom I'm gonna do that at the bottom here E beauty all right so that's capable and we're going to put this at the bottom left hand side here boom and we're gonna go maybe up maybe oh nope didn't bring it close enough uh, up hmm yeah we'll make that work and select this bottom left hand corner and pop the F like this of that would be the center and let's you know for the sake of making it easy on us visu uh, visually I'm gonna click and drag bring this down here boom and start to mix it all up here M is gonna go here yeah, actually it's gonna probably have to come higher because some of my other letters are gonna need to stick up there let's see what that looks like and Trying to display all of the nodes as it moves it. There we go. Capable of many things. Cool. Now, if I were to try to cut this out, what do we know already? All of the little individual pieces are going to fall out. It's going to look like a mess, and it's not going to be one unified piece. We are going to need the one tool, the great tool, the tool that does all the work for us when it comes to joining things. That is the breakout segment tool. So here we go. This is going to be just a long segment of me cutting things down. I hope you enjoy. Okay, Whew. that took a bit of time, but now we're at a point where we're going to have to do some detail work. So what we've noticed is as we were exploding items here from, um, as we were working with the text here in QCAD, a couple of items were a little bit tedious here. Now it looks like I've got most of them taken care of here. Um, And it's, it, it is a bit of work on these guys here because the way that the exploded text handled, uh, it created these um, vectors, it created a bunch of extra vectors that were completely unnecessary in order to make the shape within the system. They thought that it was fine. That's what they thought. Now I've had to go through and select and delete. And we're talking about hundreds of nodes, thousands of nodes that were added. Look at this. This is this is unreal, completely unnecessary for the number of nodes needed. But that's what you get when the system explodes. Sometimes some text has uh, bits of detail that we can't necessarily uh, compensate for at the very beginning. So we have to come through and do a little bit of detail work. So I'm just coming and with my tool, there we go. Um, trying to fix as many of these issues as possible and I've already separated out most of them so I'm going to my pointer tool clicking dragging a square selecting those items hitting delete um, oh it looks like I forgot a whole segment here this is why QAQC is important let's go back and see what we can do here um, and we'll probably just remove it there yes one two three four and we have the corner perfect 
and we can come back and delete all of this doesn't look like there's any intersection there that we need to worry about go back to the pointer delete it all boom beauty all right m a n y t h i i'm going to delete this here and deleting oh nope not deleting all that uh, all that there and looks like all of that is gone and over here one more set to delete coming in two and i think that's it t h i n g s m a n y and we're good so this is the whole sign this is everything every little part of it um, we're able to take this and we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to save this as capable sign just the letters. And there we go. That is our piece. Now, if you. So that's our piece. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I know there was a lot that we did here and a couple things I didn't necessarily explain in super fine detail. Now, if you run into those questions, feel free to reach out. Tell me down in the comments. I'll go ahead and respond accordingly. Now, if there are custom videos, custom items that you're trying to make, a, a specific problem you're trying to understand and you need a custom video to help you out, please reach down in the form below and we can make you a custom video uh, if we have that availability there, just put in a request. We'll take a look at it, evaluate, and move on. Um, that being said, please comment, subscribe, like, do all the YouTube things. We're here for it, and we enjoy doing this. Until next time, have a great day. Bye now.